The West African country of Niger took a major hit last evening after its president was removed from power in a military coup. Soldiers of Niger claim to have overthrown President Mohamed Bazoum due to deteriorating security situation and his bad governance. The president was removed from power in a military coup that was led by the colonel and nine other officers. In a statement that was broadcast on national television, the colonel came out and said that the defense and security forces have decided to put an end to this current regime. The president was also held hostage by his security forces in the presidential palace. After the military coup, Niger borders were closed and a nationwide curfew was put in place. Meanwhile, the United States has come out and condemned any attempt to seize power in Niger by force and has called for the immediate release of the president. Niger's president, Mohamed Bazoum, has been removed from power. That's according to a group of soldiers who appeared on national TV late Wednesday. Bazoum had been detained for hours by his own guards in the presidential palace. An army spokesman, Colonel Amadou Abderman, declared the West African nation's borders were closed, a nationwide curfew was in place, and all institutions were suspended. Security forces, according to Abderman, decided to rebel due to the, quote, deteriorating security situation and bad governance. <laughs> Supporters of the ousted president, Bazoum, have been quick to condemn the army's action, gathering outside the National Assembly in the capital, Niamey, to call for his release. La qui doit this man says he's here to defend democracy. He added Bazoum was elected for five years, and democracy should prevail. Niger is a key Western ally in a global fight against insurgencies in the Sahel region. The coup now complicates international efforts to fight a jihadist movement that has spread from Mali over the past decade. Bazoum's election was the first democratic transition of power in a state that has witnessed four military coups since independence from France in 1960. The coup has sparked international condemnation with the US calling for Bazoum's release, while the European Union, United Nations, France and others have condemned the uprising. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. I spoke with President Bazoum uh, earlier this morning and made clear that the United States resolutely supports him as the democratically elected president of Niger. We call for his immediate release. We condemn any effort to seize power by force. Uh, we're actively engaged with the uh, Niger government, uh, but also with partners in the region and around the world. We'll continue to do so until the situation is resolved appropriately and peacefully. This is the seventh coup in the West and Central Africa region since 2020.